how to create google tasks from microsoft outlook email automatically so let's say you are receiving lot of emails in your outlook account and in those emails you are also receiving some product related queries or request now you are missing out those important emails because your inbox is full of emails so here i am going to show you that whenever a new email is received in your outlook account how you can filter out those important emails and then how you can create a task from that email in google task so that you will not miss any important email in your outlook because now all the emails will be created as a task into the google task so do you also want to create this automation for yourself then come with me and i will show you everything step by step so this is my outlook account and using the important email content i am going to create task into the google docs but for that i'll have to first to build an integration in these two application with the help of pavli connect which is an integration and automation software and i am an existing user of pavli connect so i am already logged in you can also create your free account in pavli connect in just 2 minutes from this sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free task to test this automation now once you will reach to the dashboard click on this view button firstly that is create workflow and provide any random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i have provided the name as create google task from microsoft outlook email now i will click on create button and then you will notice two boxes okay so these are actually trigger an action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever this happens then automatically do this try to understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application to your customers okay so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation okay so according to our use case whenever any new email is received into the microsoft outlook account okay so that is why i am going to select this microsoft office 365 application then automatically create a task using that email content into the google task application okay so i have selected both the application in the trigger and the action window okay and now the idea here is i am going to connect both the applications one by one with the pavli connect okay so firstly we will select the trigger even that is new email because i want that whenever a new email is received into the outlook account this automation should trigger or i can say the details of email should be sent to this google task application okay so i have selected the trigger event now i am going to click on this connect button clicking on add a new connection clicking on this connect with microsoft 365 and then you will have to provide the access of your microsoft 365 account okay but i have provided this connection multiple times okay so i can go with the existing connection only if you want you can also go with the new existing connection in case you have already provided the connection in the first time okay now as soon as i have connected here you will notice a button that is save and send test request okay so if i will click on this button a most recent email which is received in this account the details of that email will be captured via pavli connect okay so in front of you firstly i am going to send an email in this account and then i am going to click on that button and then you will see how that email will be received in pavli connect okay so i am going to send the email from this specific account okay uh, the email is all about meeting schedule with mr abc hello mr roy your next meeting is uh, with mr abc schedule for 29th june please be ready with the presentation thanks okay so firstly i am going to provide the email all right so i am clicking on send button and here you can see the message the email has been sent and firstly as soon as that email will be received in my outlook account i will click on that button okay so here you can notice the same email has been received let us come back to pavli connect clicking on this button save and send test request and you will see the magic that details will be captured as a response let me show you the details one by one so here we have the email address of from email address basically okay here we have the same subject line that is meeting with schedule with mr abc here we have the email content also let me show you the same email content which i have sent okay 
so under this body preview you will notice the same email content okay so i think we have all the details of the email and now we can easily create a task into the google task application but before that firstly i am going to apply a filter basically i am going to apply a condition before this google task step because here in my outlook account i am going to receive all type of emails and i do not want to create a task using those kind of emails basically i just want to filter the important emails okay so that is why i am going to apply a filter basically i am going to apply a condition okay and condition can be applied with the filter which is an amazing feature of pably connect via which you can apply different kind of conditions within your workflow within your automation okay so here i am going to apply the condition based on the keywords i have into my email okay so i am going to pick some important Important words into my email, like the meeting word, or the pably word, or the presentation word, or the schedule word. So whenever my automation will notice that a new email is received into the Outlook account, and that email consists of the following words, like the meeting, pably, or schedule. In that case, it is going to execute this automation further. Otherwise, it is going to stop that automation here only. Okay. So assume that the automation has noticed this particular email. Okay, so when the automation is going to check the condition for this particular email, of course the condition is going to be false because automation is not going to find those specific keywords which I am about to mention here. Okay, so in this way, this automation will take place. In this way, the condition will be executed. Okay, so how you can specify the same in this uh, workflow? So firstly, I am going to specify the subject line. Okay, so you must be thinking what. is this so this is the same data which we have received into our previous response okay so here i will search for the subject line okay let me open that if my subject line contains the word like meeting in that case the condition should be true the condition will be true and our automation will proceed further and not just a single condition i will be clicking on this plus icon and here i am going to specify more words okay so again if my subject line will consist to the words okay so again i am going to select the subject here then selecting the contains as the filter type and here i will specify pably okay and how about i add this or condition three more times okay because i would like to specify the words for the email content also okay so let me click on this or once again So I have clicked on this or button three more times. So here, firstly, I am going to search for the subject line one once again, uh, selecting the contains, and here I will specify the word something like schedule. Okay. Now after specifying the conditions in the subject line, now I am going to select that body preview. Okay. So if the body of the email consists of the words, okay, here I also I am going to select the same thing that is body preview. Okay. I have selected at both the places, and here. again it is going to be contains not does not equal to it should be contains okay if my body of the email also consists of the words like pably or meeting so what will happen the condition will be true and this automation will proceed further let me click on this button and you will notice that in the response it will say that the condition is true why the condition is true because any of the condition at least a single condition is getting satisfied okay so in our case the condition which is getting satisfied is actually of this that is meeting yes our subject line actually consists of the word like meeting so that is why the condition is uh, uh, true okay so whenever the condition is true what should be the next step so basically it should directly create task into the google task okay so how we can do that firstly select the action event that is create a task now just like we have connected microsoft outlook and pably connect now i am going to connect this google task and pably connect click Click on connect. Clicking on add new connection, and you will have to provide the access of your Google task by clicking on this sign in with the Google. Okay, but I am going with the existing connection because again I have provided this connection multiple times. All right, I have clicked on save, and this is how my Google task application is also connected with the Pably Connect. Now, firstly, it is going to ask you that in which particular task list you would like to create these tasks. Okay, so since we are connected whatever the task list are available inside my google task application have started visible here into the pably connect
so i would like to create the task into this pably team so i have selected the same now just to provide the task title and any random due date and this is how the task will be created and the interesting thing is i am going to pick the task title from the email content only which i have just received as the response of the first step and the interesting thing is i don't need to manually copy that data and paste it here because i am going to map that data and mapping is very simple click on this field and you will find the above data here in the drop down now search for that subject line because here i am going to use the subject line only for creating a task title okay asking for the notes well this is not a mandatory field so i am going to leave it blank again asking for the due date and i guess this is also not a mandatory field so how about i directly click on this button and check whether my task is getting created or not here okay so i have already selected this task list and here you can notice meeting scheduled with mr abc the task has been created automatically into my account into my google task okay and if you will provide the details basically if you will provide some content into the notes okay so how about i specify the body of the content here so you will notice the details column will be also filled and you can also provide a due date if you have any due date mentioned into your email okay clicking on this button save and send test request and waiting for the response to be received well it is already received and here you can notice one more task has been created and this time a description is also here okay so this is how now onwards every time a new email is received into your outlook account using that email content the task will be created automatically into your google task okay and the interesting thing is it is not going to create a task for every single email that you are receiving in your outlook account okay firstly it is going to check whether that email is really important for you or not whether it is relevant for you or not if the automation will find out that the email is actually relevant then only it is going to create the task otherwise the condition will stop there only and automation will also stop there only okay and let me tell you one more thing just in case if the task are not getting created in real time or immediately don't worry about that because this trigger will check for the new data in every 10 minutes okay so sometimes it might take at least 10 minutes in order to create the task into the google tags okay so don't worry about that just wait for 10 minutes patiently okay and just in case if you want to access this automation inside your pably connect account i will also attach the link of my automation into the description box you just need to click on this link and sign up into the pably connect and then you will be able to access this workflow this automation inside your pably connect account that to for free and i think i have forgot to mention a very important thing whatever the details i have mapped here these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time okay so that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation and this is how this automation is going to take place and whatever the details i have provided either manually or either from this uh, arrow from this drop down these details are going to be the same okay so according to our automation what will happen every time the task will be created into this task list only but the task title and the notes and the description will be changed based on the email because these details will be replaced automatically so this is how this automation is possible not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pably connect you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pably connect and for the latest updates of pably connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video